Alrighty, mateys, welcome back to Klepto Stash, where we review the best of the best applications, extensions, add-ons, and services. And today we're going to be talking about an application that has uh, brought me back from the brink time and time and time again when it comes to backing up my partitions and drives, and that is Image for Linux by Terabyte Unlimited. And now uh, this is a paid app but well worth it for your money. Let's get into the gist of what this really is all about. Image for Linux is an easy to use disk image backup and restore application that quickly and reliably creates a complete backup of your operating systems, programs, and data. Restoring is also quick, easy, and complete. As this name implies, Image for Linux runs under a Linux environment but it can back up or restore any partition, including those of DOS or Windows. That's right. Image for Linux can also image to or restore from mount points and uh, includes USB 3 support. The program can also write directly, uh, can also directly access FAT, FAT32, EXT234, and NTFS partitions, as well as also writable CD, DVD, Blu-ray drives. By default, backups to made to CD, DVD, Blu-ray are bootable, which provides you with a convenient recovery system. Image for Linux works seamlessly with onboard hardware RAID and also supports firmware-based RAID via the Linux DM RAID module. That's right, folks. It's getting pretty sweet, isn't it? Yeah, sounds real nice. Mm, I know it. Uh, bonus. Every purchase of Image for Linux includes a copy of of uh, Image for DOS. It also includes a licensed copy of the Terabyte OS Deployment Tool Suite. This uh, suite contains a set of powerful utilities that among other things will help you deploy Windows to completely different hardware. You can also uh, back up from uh, virtual to physical drives or uh, physical to virtual and restore vice versa. It is very nice and uh, we're gonna have a little uh, kind of demonstration here on uh, how great this software is. It's going to be a little hobble demonstration because I kind of hacked this together uh, through uh, VirtualBox. But uh, this is Image for Linux. Uh, it boots up just like any other Linux uh, system. And uh, let's show you some of the stuff at the top here. Image for Linux, we'll be getting to that quickly here in a bit. Uh, some extra uh, add ons and tools, OSD tool. You, where you can copy from a physical to virtual. Uh, that's that to one we talked about earlier. And this one, TBI View, another free add-on. This one can take your already backed up images and uh, where you can easily restore files and folders without having to restore the entire image. Very nice. Mount network shares, mount drive or partition, an editor, partition work, Old Midnight Commander, File Manager, TrueCrypt. I know some of you got uh, TrueCrypt uh, out there on your PCs. Terminal. And when I mean terminal, you can run Linux commands. You can do use uh, FDisk. Uh, you can uh, make partitions. You can do all that stuff that a normal Linux terminal can do. And so let's get into Image for Linux. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. As you can tell, select operation, backup, restore, validate, copy. We're going to back it up. Uh, select the type of backup, full backups, or changes. That's right, if you made a full backup before and you want to make another backup, you can back up just the changes, which is very nice and saves disk space. Let's see. Next, backup from a physical Linux drive or a virtual drive. We're gonna say Linux. We're gonna back up from. We're gonna back up, basically back up this SDA drive, and uh, just this particular partition here. And it's pretty easy to figure out which ones are which because normally you have labels. I didn't set them up. <laughs> and uh, back up to, and it gives you like, okay, do you want to back it up to a DVD, whatever have you? We can just say direct. Can it ask you that same question? You could back up that that same uh, partition to a virtual drive, but we're gonna say physical drive, and we're gonna back up to SDB, the other drive, 
and uh, see there's already um, that that particular partition there click on that I already have some backups right there and if it, this particular virtual box uh, image there's not much on there I think there's nothing on there so the backs are gonna backups gonna be very very quick but see to add, it'll it'll back it up and then the LO that stands for Linux I think WO stands for uh, Windows and then the date the year the month and all the good stuff so you can archive all the stuff got information here uh, why is that not working hmm. uh, next okay you can validate your backup you can validate byte for byte that's right if you absolutely need to make sure that what you're backing up is your 100 com 100 percent complete data you can do that uh, you can encrypt your data so you can keep it out of prying eyes um, other options here and also there's a I really didn't get into it beforehand before we started but there's a manual mode and automatic mode what that means is if you happen to have uh, M M uh, you know MBR data on your on your drive or your partition it will grab that in automatic mode and uh, back it up and restore it but if you go into normal mode, then you can set certain other features like making a drive, active drive, and things. But I kind of a little too quickly ran through it, but I just wanted to give you the gist here since we're in VirtualBox and uh, not running it on a physical machine. But validate byte for byte. And again, uh, these drives that I'm backing up to, they don't have anything in them. They're just VirtualBox images, and I haven't really put anything on there. Continuing, and you start, and there. The backup has successfully completed. Completed successfully. Jeez. And uh, what you can do is, if it messes up for any reason, it'll tell you. Or maybe, maybe you have some hard drive damage, it'll tell you. It's pretty informative when it comes to that. And so you hit OK. And then you can, you can, hey, you can validate that information. Go next, direct, validate Linux drive, select file drive let's see SDB name of the file to validate we're gonna go to this one I'm gonna go next yeah yes next next start and if you have let's say a drive that's got uh, let's see 200 gigs and it's filled to the gills um, it's not this particular program is not slow by any means but it's gonna take a minute especially if you're validating it or validating it by per by, by per byte but this is rock solid and uh, has saved me so many times uh, where other uh, other backup systems that I've used uh, that have failed me or just didn't have the right set of features for me and the only ones I use the only ones I really rely on is uh, image for Linux and clonezilla uh, but uh, Image for Linux has some features that Clonezilla doesn't have. In Clonezilla, you really have to do a lot of the legwork yourself. Uh, let's say, let's say you have a backup with two partitions. Um, you have to go and create those partitions, etc. But um, with this, it will do that for you in the automatic mode. It's very nice. Or if you can go if, if you really want to get into the minutia. You can go into the normal mode. You can set all the options yourself and tweak it out any way you want. This program is. Is, is very informative and you can do a hell of a lot with it and I'll be coming up with uh, more videos in the very near future so look forward to them I've been Klepto, you've been cool and this has been another edition of Klepto's Stash